the third constraint is a little more involved okay let me give you an example the third constraint is called freezing book inventory with this method you can allow goods receipts and goods issues and still keep counting why or rather how how does the system allow that now let me give you an example so this is our plant or storage location or warehouse in chicago and this is a, a store in chicago on michigan avenue let's say now imagine there are 20 stores like that so each store at least will consume 100 to 200 pounds of coffee so there are 20 stores the total consumption of coffee is 20 into 200 that is 4000 pounds that's a lot of coffee right and you got to have a storage of at least 10 days or 20 days worth of coffee let's say 10 days for 10 days that's 40000 pounds of coffee stored in a central storage location or plant 40000 pounds of coffee and if you want to count can you count 40000 pounds of coffee in one hour not possible right or even one day sometimes it's not possible two days let's say now for two days you cannot do a goods receipt or a goods issue if you do goods receipt goods issue things are confusing you know things come in things go out you don't know what's really happening so in situations like that it makes no business sense to stop transactions like issuing of goods to the customer or receiving goods from the warehouse or receiving goods from the vendor and the truck comes in with loads of coffee now in situations like that now there is a functionality here in sap called freezing of book inventory okay let me give you an example of how this works so this is our warehouse right and a particular lot let's say let me maximize this so you understand that this is the lot or the rack or the shelf where coffee is stored okay and in that lot or shelf you vacate a small lot like this okay and dedicate this for all new goods receipts or goods issues okay so you're not going to do any activity of counting this step it's all free it's all blank meaning you have emptied this particular rack and dedicated that for all new goods receipts or new goods issues that happen when you start the count now you have 40000 pounds of coffee to count in these racks okay so typically when you start counting 40000 pounds of coffee the bulk of your job will be focused on counting the existing inventory right so you don't need to lock or block the stock that is needed right maybe you can just put some 200 pounds here that you think is required for goods issues okay so you don't need to lock the rest of the inventory so the business can continue as usual so goods issues can happen new goods receipts can happen so essentially what you're doing is blocking a location and blocking some stock so that business can continue as usual but still you can keep counting okay let me give you an example on jan 1st this is book versus this is physical there is 100 pounds of stock right so you create a pi and then freeze the inventory now you started counting at 10 o'clock there is a goods issue or a goods receipt say 25 pounds or 2500 pounds of coffee came in 
and you're going to put that in this special lot. So it's not going to disturb the rest of your counting. And at 5 p.m., let's say you finish the inventory counting and finally found out that instead of 100, there is only 80 pounds, right? There is only 80 pounds. So 80 pounds of physical inventory. And at 6 p.m., let's say before you go home, you post the difference. So initially, SAP thinks that there is 100 pounds, but you have only found out 80 pounds. So there is a difference of 20. So 100 is book inventory, physical inventory is 80. So the difference is 20 that's posted to uh, inventory loss account. And the book inventory will be adjusted to 80. 100 minus 20 is 80. Now what happens to this inventory? 25 pounds that has come in during your counting process. Because you have frozen the book inventory until 6 p.m. Anytime you check the inventory in MMBE, it's still going to be 100 pounds. But once you post the difference, this 25 will be added to 80 and the total inventory will now become 80 plus 25, that is 105. This way, you can ensure that goods receipts and goods issues can happen as usual, at least goods receipts. And you can still keep counting, freeze the book inventory, so that no changes will happen to the book inventory. And finally, the additional stock that has been received can be added after the counting is been done and the book inventory can be updated. Now, what will happen if you don't freeze the book inventory? Well, one is to freeze all goods movements like we have done previously, like we have done in this case, blocking. In which case, you can't do any activity. All that stock, the vendor has to keep waiting or all that stock has to be put there without a goods issue or goods receipt being done and somebody might forget to do that goods receipt or goods issue. In which case, it will cause confusion. You don't want that. Now, if you don't freeze the book inventory, what happens? This is a little confusing. If you don't freeze the book inventory, and try to do a goods receipt of 25. Initially, the stock was 100. Now, you keep counting, keep counting, and at 5 p.m., you have counted 80. What's the difference? 20. But if you add this 25 at 3 p.m. to this stock, the book inventory is going to go up by 125. And now, the physical stock is only 80 because you have not counted this. Because you can't keep counting and then counting and then counting and some other stock keeps coming in and something else goes out. That causes confusion. When you count something, you have to only focus on that particular lot, right? This lot. And this 25 is something that you are unaware of. Now, 125 is your book inventory and 80 is what you physically counted. Now, the difference is 125 minus 80, that is 45 which is not really the case. You don't want to write off 45, isn't it? Do you want to write off 45? No, the actual stock that has to be written off is just 20 because that's the only one that's missing. But if you keep doing GR or GI, additional stock will be added to the book inventory and it will cause a whole lot of confusion. So, in order to prevent that, SAP provides a method called freezing of the book inventory whereby the books are frozen and after you post the differences then any subsequent goods receipts or goods issues that have happened in this lot in this separate lot right will be adjusted 80 plus 25 this process is called adjustment so SAP will automatically adjust the book inventory to account for new GI, new GR, 
plus updated physical inventory new gi or new gr is this additional material that has been either sent out or that came in updated pi is 80 because we have physically counted 80 instead of the original 100 so 100 plus 25 is 125 will be the new book inventory okay now let's do this in action 